In 13A, we simply looked at this idea of a scatter plot. Someone remind me, it's even there on the board if you want to look. When do you use a scatter plot? In what situation? When you've got two variables, you want to try and work out are they related in some way, closely or otherwise. Okay? So these are some of the scatter plots that you saw. Now one of the things about this is that sometimes you know, your, your data is patchy. In these cases, you've got a lot of data. Okay? But say we actually had, I'm going to do it like this. Say we actually had some data missing. Like we had a gap in our data, something that looked a bit like this. Okay? Now, this is not that unusual. This is not that unusual because there's lots of different sources of data and sometimes you don't have everything all nice and neat as if it lines up perfectly. So when you have gaps in your data, what do you do? I'm going to introduce this idea of the line of best fit. Maybe you have heard of it before. It's a very common idea. But if you have data where one variable is related to another, then it should roughly form a line. It should sit on a line. So we're going to talk about how the technical way of doing this a bit later on. But right now, all you need to do is an approximate, literally, line that goes... I'll make it a bit bigger. A line that goes straight through... Your data. Okay. So, being that the relationships that we're looking for here are linear, your line of best fit is going to be a straight line. Okay. Now, this exercise you're about to do is really just about this is a, a very broad idea. Okay. Drawing that through and using that now to then predict. Okay. Well, if I know there's some person and I know their measurement on this axis. I can use this line of best fit to make a reasonable guess as to what they will be on this axis. Doesn't ne necessarily have to be exactly accurate, but I'm just trying to get a ballpark, right? Um, I will be able to predict things, and that's really, really useful. Later on, in two exercises time, we're actually going to look at, there's an actual technical way that will involve spreadsheets and what have you, of constructing this line, okay? Because at the moment, like this could be your line of best fit, but I could just as easily draw you know, roughly speaking, that is your line of best fit, or, you know, I could almost draw it anywhere I like if I don't have some kind of agreed upon measure for how to say which is the line of best fit. So, line of best fit is what I'm going to call it most frequently because I think that's the most descriptive. Um, you also call it here it called um, a trend line, that's another common name. There's a bunch of different names for the same idea. It's a line that roughly passes through the center of all of your data. Okay.